me a little bit about um, the movie and, and who, you, who you play in it. Um, so my role in it is Jacqueline Anasty, and she's like the mother hen of a, a club. So she says what goes, what she lays on the rules and everything in there. And um, my role is meeting the, the main actor, actor, actress <laughs> in it, and just like you know, giving him like some hard times and like let him know how life is in the the drag world, the drag community. Yeah, what from your own experience in drag did you bring to your film? You know what's fun about, uh, funny? They literally were like, hey, we need to uh, learn some stuff. And I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, I'm the kind of queen that doesn't like to teach anything, but I'm happy to take him on as my um, child. <laughs> so we did like a lot of like dance, performance, um, like really connecting, learn how to connect to the character. And when you're performing with someone, it's so important to have that connection and the eye contact and the lip sync and everything. Sometimes the, the music's there, but sometimes you just, it's not about the beats, it's about what's being said. And that's uh, what I helped him do. <laughs> Tell us a bit about your own drag journey. How did you first get into drag? What was the sort of spot that Oh my God. I've been doing drag 14 years. <laughs> so, uh, and it was, I was helping a friend out. He was, started a night at a club and he's like, hey, can you help me? Because I had dance background. I was like, yeah, I'll do it once for you. You better find someone the next week. Turned into 14 years of loving this art form. So. And I love that getting to know you through watching uh, RuPaul's Drag Race. Uh, the oh, you saw Canada. it? I did, yes. <laughs> I'm um, watching every single international version, but um, the, the Canadian one was, was great. Um, how do you sort of reflect on your experience on the, the show now that you've had some time? You know, oh my god, the time is actually healing. <laughs> you, you, for anyone who's like really like a perfectionist, it's hard to watch. Like it's always hard to watch your eye feel yourself on screen. But um, now it's like almost like two years have passed almost because of COVID and everything. Looking back, I'm so grateful for the experience on the show. It's uh, it showed me myself, and I think I grown with that uh, experience from the show. It really had a glow up, so I'm really loving that that, that experience. Do you have a favorite song to sing to? A favorite song? I love "I'm Every Woman." It's like a go-to when Houston. "I'm Every Woman," um, but I also love. Oh my gosh, I've been on this Anita Baker <laughs> kind of thing. Um, Sweet Love. Yeah, so I, any, I love old school and like that's where the emotions came from. Like this music is very reflective of that. And these little kids don't know, but that's where it stems from. And always, I always go back to my roots. And is it nice to be out in the evening? You know, dress up uh, well, I mean, without being in drag. You enjoy doing years. that too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love showing up in drag when I have to. Like, everyone gags for me. But being a boy, like, I'm very handsome and people need to see that. So. Okay. <laughs> I just love doing it.